Hello guys, welcome back to the show, The Food Dude here. Today I'm gonna be talking about the pH, the acid alkaline scale. This is a really simple but very powerful concept because it's gonna give you a lot of information that you will be able to use to achieve optimum health and to make sure that you know your habits and your lifestyle and your diet is always the best that you could be having. And this scale uh, goes basically from zero to 14. Zero being the most acidic and 14 being the most alkaline. Basically everything that we eat or drink can fall somewhere within this category. However, you want to stay always on a neutral pH. As you might know, any living organism is extremely complex. So your body is extremely complex. Your brain is doing always a lot of work on the background, right? Uh, trying to keep you alive and well. For example, it's always monitoring your blood pressure, your heart rate, your temperature, your body temperature, the hormone synthesis, and in this case also your pH. So the human body is always going to be working around 7.35 and 7.45. So it's a really narrow frame in which your body really needs to be because otherwise you would, be, you would die. And so the thing is that most things that we eat on a Western diet are acidic, extremely, extremely so. For example, I have here a few uh, examples. Your stomach acid or battery acid is one, so it's really acidic. However, as I explained on my GIT video, the gastrointestinal tract video, you could know your stomach is the only portion of your body that can withstand this level of acidity. And in fact, you want it to be very acidic because that means that you, you're gonna have a really proper digestion. However, anywhere else in your body has to be around a, a neutral pH, the 7.3, 7.4. And then, for example, you have diet soda is 2.5, coffee is 3, and then you have water is 7, uh, seawater is 8.5, baking soda is 12. I uh, uploaded this chart that um, can be really helpful for you, so you can download it. I'm going to put the link right there. So basically what it's telling you is what foods are on each uh, number. Basically, and a really way, an easy way to remember is because people ask me, do I have to remember all this when I go have some lunch? Well, not really. You, what you can remember though, a really good rule of thumb, is that any animal product is gonna be acidic, mostly, and any plant-based food is gonna be alkaline. So, for example, on the alkaline side, we have on the 10, the raw spinach, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, alfalfa grass, seaweeds, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, cucumber, etc., etc. And then you have lemons and limes, which is, might be a little bit um, counterintuitive because you might be thinking, well, lemons and limes are acidic, aren't they? Well, yeah, the thing is that all these foods are classified as acid or alkaline depending on the effect that they have in the body. So um, the lemons and limes, before they're digested, yes, they are acidic. However, after they're digested, all the, uh, the product, the end product is gonna be alkaline. And so it's, it's considered alkaline forming in your blood. And it's actually one of the best things you can do to keep yourself alkalized. You can squeeze a lemon in water in the morning and that's, that's great. That's something really helpful that you can do for, for your body. And then, still on the alkaline range, we have olive oil, uh, which remember you have to use it raw, not, not to cook with it, as I explained in other videos. So zucchini, mangoes, tangerines, grapes, lettuce, peas, kiwi, papayas, and as you see, it's pretty much plant-based. Keep going down to eight, apples, tomatoes, turnips, peppers, pineapple, wild rice, etc. So many, many, many really good things. So just to be safe always, you should be consuming a lot of the alkaline side. It's very hard for someone to go on alkalosis, which is moving not from homeostatic state to an alkaline state, a very alkaline state, which is also bad. Remember, you want to be neutral. However, uh, not only food is going to make your body acidic, but also lack of sleep and oxidative stress, you know, being worrying about stuff all the time, you know, being in traffic and bad mood and all that, that's also really acidic to your body. But also, all most of the foods that we have on a Western diet, for example, animal products, ice cream, milk, cheese, yogurt, beef, lobster, pork, shellfish, venison, fish, but also soda, beer, coffee, alcohol, 
and tea. All those are very acidic. And so if you consume those, you have to consume those in moderation and also make sure that you counteract them with alkaline foods. The thing is that if we eat a lot of acidic food, your body is going to start drifting towards the acidic state, which your body is not going to allow. So your body has a few mechanisms to prevent that your body goes onto acidosis, which can actually kill you. So among those mechanisms you have, well, is urination, perspiration, uh, your respiration as well, and, uh, and also mineral depletion from your bones, especially. So what am I saying is when your body is very acidic, your body has to get rid of all that one way or another. And sometimes your body has to go for alkalizing elements, for example, calcium and phosphorus from your bones to buffer these acidic um, foods and particles in your body. And so the problem long term is that you're gonna end up with osteoporosis and other problems, thyroid problems, for example, because your body also depletes iodine to buffer acidic foods. And so, for example, we have the Diet Cokes. Diet Cokes which have zero calories. And then people might go and drink two, three, four, five a day thinking that, you know, they're not gonna gain weight with that. The thing is, they can actually gain weight from diet drinks because these things, as, as I said, they're 2.5 in the scale. So they're like an acidic rain inside your body. And when you drink these things, your body, as I say, has to buffer them, has to counteract them somehow. So it goes to your bones, it goes to the thyroid and get all these elements to counteract the acidic state and bring your body back to a neutral pH. However, if your thyroid is deficient on iodine, that would probably lead, uh, in most cases, to a, a sluggish thyroid, an underproducing thyroid, and that's gonna slow down your metabolism, which means you're gonna be gaining weight easily and and that's the irony of drinking these diet cokes and sodas which are not really good for you at all uh, sodas or diet sodas or those things you shouldn't be drinking them at all anyway but uh, especially for people who are thinking that they're actually doing a good thing by drinking diet soda you can actually gain weight from those things and, and become extremely acidic so you don't want that and also if you check the graph at the very bottom uh, well 2.3 colas that's of the chart and number three, you have microwave foods and processed foods and NutraSweet and so basically and tobacco. So basically processed foods are also acidic. Uh, so you have to take that in consideration as well. And, and you know the Western diet, what is it? Is it hamburgers and hot dogs and steak and fries and, and, and all this stuff that is extremely acidic. And usually the salads are really just like a tiny little portion when compared to the mass massive amount of acidic food that we're consuming so we should always be conscious of that because you you're doing really your body a great disservice if you're only eating acidic foods and it's really really not that hard to move into the alkaline state i'm going to put the recipe for um, an alkalizing smoothie that you can make in the morning which is basically a lot of green leafies a lot of vegetables and fruits and you can put them in the blender and just have them in the morning or you can also have as i say the water with the lemon juice that's really good stuff for you it's really going to help help you to stay on a neutral healthy ph and remember that in the long run acidity is the root of many chronic diseases such as cancer arthritis or diabetes and all these western diseases are, that are going rampant uh, nowadays and so but now you know now you know and you can always refer to this chart right here and there's a lot of information around on internet but always as a rule of thumb remember animal products tend to be acidic and plant-based foods are alkaline so make sure you're always eating a lot of alkaline foods all right guys well if you have any questions you know where to where to find me i'm also open for naturopathic consultations in my health yoga i'm going to put the details on the description of the video an naturopath like myself is basically someone who's gonna be very knowledgeable in food and herbal medicine and other alternative methods of medicine such as homeopathy, iridology, and we do nail analysis and mineral analysis and many other techniques that's gonna help me give you information on what's really going on, get to the root cause of whatever it is that you are suffering of and really kickstart your, you know, your healing mechanisms of your body. Your body is a doctor inside you, it's the best doctor for yourself. 
but we really, we really need to stop getting in the way of your body, trying to heal yourself, trying to make you feel better. And this is a great way for you uh, to know what's going on and what way you can actually help your body do its, do its thing. All right, guys, well, if you have any questions, you know where to find me, and I'll see you next time. This is lifematters.ws. Thank you, My Health Yoga, and I'll see you next time.